Well, hello, YouTube. You got Bobby Hill here. We're gonna be building some lowriders. I bet you didn't know Bobby Hill built lowriders, but we build lowriders over here. Uh, all kind of stuff, actually, trucks, cars, you name it, magazine stuff. Um, we're gonna be working on a little hopper, a little 1987 Cutlass. We're gonna get it ready to uh, hit the bumper, you know, put it on the bumper out there. Uh, got the frame reinforced. I wish I would have made a video on that. That was pretty cool. Um, didn't get a, didn't get around to doing that. Um, we're working on putting all the chrome suspension on it. All the suspension has been uh, reinforced, uh, molded, triple chrome plated. Uh, we got some Dayton's on there that we kind of restored back, painted the dishes red on it, which we kind of got that on video, but we didn't. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna be taking y'all through the rest of the build. Um, we're gonna pick it up. The car is actually. Um, at the body shop, a buddy of mine is doing the paint and body on it. Uh, I do paint and body work too, but you know, with my own business, I don't really have enough time to get all that stuff done um, all at once. So I'm, I'm letting him kind of take over the job on that. Uh, the car is going to be a solid torch red. Um, gonna, everything's red on. I already painted the frame red. Uh, we painted the wheels, the dishes, like I said, you know, red on it. It's got some gold centers. Uh, so yeah, you know, we'll be we'll be kind of walking through that little step with y'all um going through the hydraulic system and stuff like that and hopefully we can get this car out in the streets and see if we can uh you know do a little bit of climbing because you know how we do it over here in texas uh, but yeah we'll uh we'll get back with you on that i'll be right back as soon as we get back in the shop uh, i gotta check some brake caliper components and stuff we're doing a little conversion on the spindles so uh we'll walk you all through that and uh we'll see you then all right, so here's the 87 Cuddy. We uh, kind of doing some stuff. I need to touch the frame up a little bit. Uh, wish I would have made a little video of kind of doing the reinforcements. I bought it. Um, it was already partially wrapped when I bought it. Uh, the sides with some quarter inch plate there. Um, you know, just kind of like a do it yourself or here, here at home. But so yeah, uh, here's the problem I'm having. Uh, we went with the uh, Cadillac upper control arms here. Um, went with the Capri spindles. Uh, this is the first hopper I've built. I built a lot of low riders, uh, but this is the first first hopper I've, 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 I'm building. So, say to uh, a lot of the guys, a lot of the friends, are telling me to go with Caddy uppers uh, and the uh, the Capri spindles. Uh, unfortunately, I guess at, at Napa they didn't tell me that uh, there was two different size rotors for these. Um, uh, Capri spindles so of course my luck they always, always get the, the bad luck over there uh, I guess I, I got the 12 inch rotors uh, not knowing so um, <clears throat> now this is where I, I probably should have checked um, before I painted these but I, I, I didn't have this frame assembled or anything right now uh, or, or then um, so I probably should have checked before I painted them my mistake it happens so now I'm stuck with some uh, red painted rotors and the calipers. So I'm gonna see if the, um, actually I hadn't checked the calipers to see if the calipers even go on the spindles. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check that now. Uh, we'll get this uh, rotor taken off over this. Um, see if the calipers will even work. And then, uh, and then go from there. We'll be right back with you. All right, so we're back. We're gonna try to get these, uh, we are. We're gonna get these rubbers off. Get this stuff. Uh, see if these these calipers are gonna work, or if I'm gonna be stuck with them. You know. If not, I'm sure I can sell them. I mean, it's no big deal. Get these gloves on. You know. I know a lot of y'all probably like, ah, oh, dude, don't want to get dirty, but nah, it's cool. It's just. Wheel bearing grease gets everywhere, you know. It's kind of like a hydraulic fluid when you're working on a car, it gets everywhere. You don't want to all over you. Screw all that. All right. Here we go. Get this castle nut off. Chrome. I had to do a little cleaning of the threads on that. And of course, it seems like the the, the outer bearings are probably not going to work. Uh, the inner bearings seem like they probably will, but we'll try it. Huh. Things are nice and heavy. All right, so uh, let's get this bolt.
caps and that, the washer, keep all the bearings and everything in there. Let's get these. Let's see if these rotors are going to work. That's backwards, people. Backwards. Try it like this. Up, up. I don't know. It looks like. They might actually work. They go on the spindle pretty good and all that, so uh, I don't know if the if the calipers are uh, any different. Um, I got a little ring in there. I need to keep in there. I don't know if the calipers are any different, like the rotors. Um, so we'll we'll see once we get the 11 inch rotors on there. Um, if anybody's got any feedback or knows anything about this, been through this before, go ahead and, and uh, shoot me in, you know, leave a, leave a comment and let me know. Uh, other than that, you know, we'll try to get it from there. It's got a pretty nice little tuck to it, you know. That's so the specs, what I'm running in the front, all right. We got the six inch cylinders, high low, they're the, the big ones. Uh, Running the four ton springs in there. Uh, Cadillac uppers, Capri, Capri spindles. Uh, yeah, so that's what that's what's going on in the front, you know. Got all this already plated and stuff, ready to go. So I got these four tons. I told you we'd run a four tons in the front, right? So I got these four tons from Mondo over there, high low, hooked it up, all right? We're gonna use them, we're gonna put them in there and we'll see how they're gonna do. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the cylinders. I mean, uh, not the cylinders. I already went over the cylinders with you in the front sixes. But um, yeah, that's what that's what we're running the front. Four tons. These white coils from Hilo over there in El Paso. We'll try them out. We'll see what they do. You never know what they do. We'll see if it puts it on the bumper. You know what I mean? Hmm. Got these four and a half tons. These are going to be for the back. Okay, four and a half tons. This is what Mondo told me to run in the back. You want a stiff suspension in the back, you know, with all them pumps and batteries. So we're going to try these four tons out in the back, and that's what's going back there, all right? You want your stuff stiff, so that's how we're going to do it. Four tons for the rear. Bam. I know I don't want to be telling everybody my secrets. There probably ain't no big secrets anyways. I'm just doing some old chump-ass lowrider shit over here. But, uh, you know, maybe somebody out there wants to do it and wants to try it out theirself in their garage, man. You know, you got to start somewhere. So why not, you know, just kind of try it out, you know, do it my way, do it somebody else's way. I don't care. Just watch the videos, man. This is going to be fun. I'm telling you, this car is the frame right now. It's just the frame, but we'll, we will be driving this car. Okay. We'll be, it'll be on the road. You'll be seeing the undercarriage all waving in the air. It'll be all good. You're not going to want to miss this. This is how we do it over here in Texas. All right. So just keep watching. And we'll get it on the bumper for you. We'll walk you through the whole build. It's going to be fun. Stick around, YouTube. Stick around. You know, the suspension, it's all, everything's chrome plated. It'll be all good. It's all reinforced. Got the thick slate down there, you know. That's going to be good. Going to have a lot of weight back here. So, with the batteries and pumps. This thing, you know, not a, it's not going to be a weighted hopper. It's going to... You know, batteries and pumps. That's it. Does anybody know what size the outer bearing is for this Capri spindle? With an 11-inch rotor. I really need to know that. Right here. Right here. Does anybody know the size? I'm sure I can find it on the internet, but, you know, somebody might know. Please. If you know, leave a comment. 
Hook me up. Thanks. These wheels, though, man, it's it's a Dayton, you know. It's just the the centers were so clean on. Them. Let's get this this knockoff. Uh, Speedy over there hooked me up with these knockoffs. He gave me a pretty good price on them. Um, gold plated. And I'll tell you what, man. Speedy over there in Cali, man. The dude gets down on his gold, man. If you're looking for some, you want some gold plated products, go hit him up, man. Speedy's metal polishing. Man, that dude will. I mean, Dayton gold is Dayton gold, but, you know, if, if you can get your gold to look like the old school Dayton gold, man, you're doing something right. To me, that's just my personal preference. So, like, but look at the wheel, man. The wheels, they're, they're nice, man. They're just nice wheels. You know, you can't go wrong. So, yeah, we're going to put some Daytons on a hopper. Yeah, and all the nips, they all line up. You know, you can see all that. They're real. You know, some people that matters, some people it doesn't. You know, the hopper. And when I say we might pattern the roof, you never know what we might use because we got a little little something. It's probably not as much as yours. It's probably not as much as yours, but hey, it's my collection. I like it. It's just a little small little collection right here. A little house color stuff, a little candies. Alright. Let's just keep watching. You never know what we might put on this car. This car is going to be cool. No matter what, it's going to be cool. Skateboard decks. This is what I mean. We're going to be painting some more of these. So, subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more of these. Okay, I just started doing these. You know, I really don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun. You know, you can always learn. Teach yourself. Take advice from others. Yeah, it's all good. Look, man, don't be making fun of my welds. I don't really know how to weld that good, but I know it sticks, okay? It sticks, it works. None of my welds have ever cracked. I'm still kind of learning, but hey, you know, I save money. That's how I save money. I just try to do stuff myself. You know, what's the worst that can happen? You get a little crack, you know, bend your frame. You just go get another frame and start over. Um, I'm going to get to you on this type of paint because this is not the paint you probably think it is. This is... This was a uh, uh, money-saving paint right here, okay? And it's the same color as the, as the GM Torch Red color, man. It's, I mean, you're not going to believe it. I'm going to make another little video on that. Uh, kind of give you the, the insight on, on the paint that I use for that frame. So it holds up pretty good, except when you put a strap across trying to compress a, a full stack of a spring. So, But other than that, yeah. Get at it. It's Bobby Hill in the house, man. Building lowriders over here. You know, that's what we do. We're building lowriders in this motherfucker. Right here, lowriders with Bobby Hill. Okay, YouTube, thanks for watching. That was the video. Um, it's kind of getting down on a little 87 colors hopper we're going to be doing. You know, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. See how we do it out here in Texas, you know, build these lowriders. So, yeah, here it is. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video because we're going to get back on it. We're going to do it up. I should have made a video of up to this progress. I didn't. I just kind of realized, hey, man, you should do a YouTube channel. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, actually, my kids gave me the idea of doing a YouTube channel. Um, thank them, you know, for me actually getting on the, the screen here. So hopefully they follow their dreams and get their channel kicked off. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Okay, we're going to get right back on this 1987 Cutlass Hopper. Low, low. Over here in Texas. I'm over here in Benchley, Texas, if you didn't know. All right, so now you know. But, uh, yeah, we're coming straight out of the woods with these lowriders over here in Texas. So stay tuned, man. You might learn something. You might teach me something. You never know. We'll see you later. Thanks, YouTube.